Hello, I'm Bruce Yaney, and today I'd like to look at visual proof of the difference between a direct current and an alternating current. So, let's take a look. I have a battery pack, I have a light bulb, and batteries are said to be direct current. So when I attach the battery pack to the bulb, electrons are flowing out the negative side through the bulb and back to the battery pack. This is a direct current. The electrons are always flowing in the same direction. This bulb is constantly on because it's a steady stream of electrons, always flowing through the same way. So let's wave this in the dark and see what it looks like. If you wave this type of light in the darkness, you'll see a steady stream of light with no breaks in it because it's a continuous source of electrons going through the bulb. So this is a direct current because the electrons are always flowing in the same direction. Now, the household electricity coming into your home is an alternating current and it's cycling 60 times per second. So when I plug this in, and in this case I've lit a little neon light, and when we look at this bulb in the dark, it also appears to be a steady stream of light but the electrons are actually switching directions every 60th of a second. So the electrons are constantly going back and forth. So this bulb is not always on because the electrons are actually going in one direction, stopping, and then going back in the other direction. Now, let's try waving the neon light in the dark and see what its path looks like. When we view this light in the dark, we'll actually see breaks in the stream of light because the electrons have stopped flowing in one direction and are starting to reverse to flow in the opposite direction. So when I move this light around fast enough, it's allowing us to see that change that's occurring every 60th of a second. This next piece is gonna use two lights that are hooked up to diodes. Now a diode allows electricity to flow in one direction, but not in the other direction. Kind of like a one-way gate. It allows electrons in, but it doesn't allow them out. The orange bulb has electrons flowing in one direction, but it's not able to flow in the opposite direction through it. And the green is able to flow in the opposite direction, but not in the first direction. So when the orange is on, the green is going to be off. So let's wave this in the dark and see what this looks like. With this piece, we're seeing alternating colors. The orange is on when the electrons are flowing in one direction, and the green is on when the electrons are flowing in the opposite direction. All right, so there's our visual proof of direct current versus an alternating current. I hope you enjoyed this segment and come back again because I have other things I'd like to show you. Okay, thank you. Bye.